I'm going to be telling you about alkali metals and how they react. And in order to do that, I am going to show you my equipment. There we go. That's the, uh, the water trough that I'm going to be using. I'm going to clip in the camera in a second. You can see there's the water in there. I haven't got anything in it at the moment. And I'll give you a flyby of the alkali metals. This one here, this uh, jar has got uh, potassium in it. There you can see, potassium. Then these two jars have got sodium in it. And that finally has got lithium in it. Excellent. Now this is universal indicator. Okay, you should have come across that before. Uh, it shows you whether something is, something is an acid or an alkali. I will also be using a tile and a scalpel to actually cut the metals. And I will be showing you the metals with this piece of equipment here, very sophisticated we are, okay, and then hopefully you'll see that the alkali metals are, of course, shiny and they're freshly cut and then tarnished very quickly. Now, is that clipped back in correctly? Let's have a look. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to shunt that along. Now, the, the water is clear at the moment but I'm going to be putting some universal indicator in there. Our neutral uh, water, tap water is neutral. It should come out green, but this universal indicator actually makes it look yellow, okay? That's no problem. Uh, it's just a different kind of indicator. And in this case, yellow means neutral, okay? So normally we'd be uh, looking at green water here now, group one metals are, of course, called the alkali metals because they are make they can make water alkaline. Okay, so uh, this is lithium metal, and you can see it's stored under some sort of oily substance, and that is to prevent it from tarnishing. Okay, now I'm going to take uh, just a little bit of lithium out, just to show you, just a little amount. There we go. Can you see? Uh, oh. Mustn't fall into the water. There you go. Nearly did. Uh, it's coated in this in this oily substance, and I'm going to dab the oil off, and then I'm going to try and cut one of these minute pieces of lithium in two, so I can show you that it's still uh, it's still shiny where it's it's not oxidized. So, however hard you try, alkali metals oxidize very quickly, uh, and that's why they need to be stored under oil, as I said, to keep them away from the oxygen. Right. Um, okay, let's see. The, it's also quite, lithium is, uh, is quite soft. It's about as the hardness of sort of frozen butter, I would say. Okay, so I've got a small, very small amount of, of lithium here. I'm going to cut it now, and I'm going to hold it into the camera. Let's see if you can actually see that it's, it's just shiny where I've cut it. You're going to have to look very quickly. don't know whether you can actually see that. Can you see that shiny? Just a uh, very little bit. Okay, now, if I drop this into the water, I've taken the oil away. It should react with the water. Okay, and there you can see just about very tiny reaction. Not, not very strong at all. And you can see it fizzing and it's slowly disappearing. Now, you can also see that right about there makes a blue or purple color. And that's the indicator reacting to the change in pH from the reaction of the alkali metal with the water. The fizzing is hydrogen gas coming off. Now, if it's truly hydrogen gas, I should be able to light it. Spills, there you go. I'm going to be using a spill or splint. It's the same thing, really. Okay, and I'm going to be trying again. Now, the idea is that once the lithium reacts, it generates hydrogen quite apart from lithium hydroxide, and I should be able to pop that in the water. Now, come on. There you go. Okay. Can you actually see that? Okay. Let's see if I can pop the hydrogen off that. That's probably not enough. Right, okay. Now, another way to show you that hydrogen is being produced by this and I can't be lighting it with a, I can't light it with a, with a splint, is to put it in a test tube full of water. 
Okay, if that's what it takes, I'm going to do that. Okay, uh, here's my test tube. Okay, I'm going to fill it full of water. Well, not completely full of water. A little bit of water. There you go. That's just ordinary water. Okay, and I'm going to put some indicator in it. Remember that this indicator is not green when it's neutral, it's yellow. I'm going to show you behind a white background. There you go. So you can see it. it is nice and yellow. And now I'm going to put a nicely dry lithium into that test tube. And then it should react with the with the water. Okay. There we are. Okay, I'm going to put my thumb over the opening, shake it a little bit. Okay, and you can see hopefully that a gas is coming out of this reaction. Okay, and after a while, I should be able to light it. Should be able to light the hydrogen that comes out of this reaction. Okay, I can feel the gas building now. I'm going to light it with the lighter because it's just simpler. Okay, here's the lighter. There you go. Did Try you see that? Again. You can also see that the alkali metal has made the solution alkaline, of course. Let's try this one more time. Okay, now I can feel it building now, definitely. Okay, you can hear the, the noise, maybe the pop. Let's go again. There we go. Now, we know that lithium gives you a reaction. It's not particularly strong, that reaction, but it, it gives you a sort of reaction. But we can now, and you can, you can pop the hydrogen from that. So lithium metal plus water gives you lithium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. There you go. Okay, this is sodium. Let's, uh, let's take out a bit of sodium. Now, these pieces are bigger, and I may be able to show you what sodium looks like when it's freshly cut, it should not look like this because that's the outside, okay? If that drops in the water, I'm in trouble. Um, but it should look quite um, shiny on the inside. So I'm gonna, just going to cut it. And this is a bit softer. Sodium is a bit softer than, than lithium. Can you see the, sh the sheen in that? It tarnishes really, really quickly. So I'm just going to cut that again and, and see whether I can show you very quickly again. Okay, there we go. No, it's not, it's not very, probably doesn't show up very much on the camera. Oh, there you go, okay. That's, uh, that's sodium for you, okay. That's, uh, maybe you can scrape it, scrape it off like that. The shave, again, if the shavings of the sodium fall into the water, I'm in, in a little bit of trouble. But there you go, okay. So whether you could see it or not, you just have to take my word for it. Uh, it's, um, it is actually fairly shiny. Once it's cut, the outside, of course, isn't, uh, because it's, it's tarnished a long while ago. This is quite old sodium metal in a jar there. Uh, and so even the oil hasn't protected it uh, that, you know, perfectly. It's not perfectly preserved. I'm dabbing. What I'm doing now, I'm dabbing the oil off. You can't see that. I'm doing that out of the view of the camera. But I'm dabbing the oil off the sodium so that I can drop it into the water. Okay, I'm going to start with a fairly small amount.